Well, about a billion people got together today to watch a soccer game. But then it is called the World Cup. France and Italy in the final, of course, a nail-biter of a match decided by a shootout. In the end, it was Italy 5-3 on penalty kick. So the Azzurri are hoisting the cup and their fans are hoisting a few or more than a few. The CBC's Mike Wise is in the middle of the party in Toronto. Mike. Evan, I know, even, even though the game ended several hours ago, as you can see in here behind me, the streets are still full, but mind you, it's been like that all day long. Yeah, yeah there's no tables. There's no tables, so like... You either needed a reservation or else it was first come, first serve. This man in front is my best friend, and he come and stand here from 5 o'clock this morning. <laughs> but come game time, Toronto fans were in place, settling in for a tense match. But Italian fans got an early scare, France scoring first at the seven-minute mark. That calmed things down until Italy tied it later on a corner kick. At halftime, the score tied. Fans took to the streets, offering predictions. But I think it's, the score is going to be three to one tonight for Azzurri. Yes, let's go! Italy, baby, Italy! Not everyone chose to watch in a bar. Some families gathered to catch the game at home. And what a home. Vito Caputo painted it the colors of the Italian flag for good luck. I might be the jinx. I won't. I won't do it again. An Italian goal called back for being offside. Then extra time, scoreless until a big break for Italy. France's star player and captain, Zinedine Zidane, red carded and thrown out of the game for headbutting an Italian player. The game still tied, it headed into a penalty shootout. Italy scored first. Then France. But the Italian players would dominate landing every kick, beating France 5-3 as the Italian fans exploded. And emptied into the streets. Toronto's St. Clair Avenue filling with fans, just like it did in 1982, the last time Italy won the World Cup. I never feel like this, from 1982, that's the second time now, I feel so good, so happy. It was a dramatic win, but this time we made it. Young and old, dancing in the streets, savoring the victory. And fans here say they've been waiting 24 years for this, and they're certainly not going to stop the party anytime soon. These celebrations are expected to continue well into the evening. All right, thanks a lot, Mike. Uh, enjoy the party. It looks like you already are. That's the CBC's Mike Wise in Toronto.